Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here, thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today, the fun continues. We're working on getting the shower installed. So we're here to pick up the shower stall and we drove all the way to the farthest possible away of Home Depot. There was a lot of cussing, so I don't like driving in the city. And <laughs> now we're going to make a beeline for the bathroom because it has been that long and now I have to go. I feel like I'm in my like childhood trauma where you used to drag me across the Walmart parking lot <laughs> as you walked as fast as you could. <laughs> like I'm reliving those days. Yeah, see, I do what I can. I do what I can. All right, then we'll go get the bathroom stall. But first, we're gonna test out a bathroom. All Technical right. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. So I guess they misread their inventory, and I guess it's coming in tonight. So they're double checking to make sure that they don't have one hiding in the back, and that we can get it later. So I guess we'll wait and see what he says. Did I hear? What are you talking about? It doesn't fit. It's I just heard fit. somebody say it doesn't fit. Nothing fits. Until you make it fit. You All these shoes. two by fours come from the hardware store the wrong size, the lumber yard. They're all, none of them fit until you make them fit. Hopefully if they finish it this weekend, this week, I can paint this bathroom and get it completely finished. And then they're also working on finishing the two offices, Mike's office and my office, and mudded, taped so that I can paint in there so a lot of me having to kind of wait to do stuff i mean i am working on other projects but it's a little bit of like hurry up and wait <laughs> right now so we'll come back and check they just ran to the hardware store that's why it's quiet in here right now um but they got the first wall in i picked this up yesterday um and they still have to get the other two sides in and all of the hardware like the nozzles and things like that and then I'm not sure what the trim that they're going to use is, but I guess there's going to be some kind of trim up there. Clean that up, solder all that together. So that'll be for the new tub. There we go. For the new spout. Nice. And I had to move the plumbing in the shower because the old surround was that marble or whatever that was in there. The new surround, because of the way it flanges in that corner, it, there's a radius there and so the valve was right at the radius so I had to move the pipes so now the valve was moved the pipes are moved so we just got done going and picking up a new spout some new valves flanges and I've got my female connector the new pipe so I'll sweat that together and uh, start getting the rest of that surround put back together and have a usable shower here in a couple hours i wasn't planning on sweating pipe and doing any copper work today so i didn't bring my my plumbing tools so we actually had to run and pick up some uh some solder and some plug take this cute little brush that comes in this little packet we got here at the hardware store so i've already cleaned these up with my brush some in here oh and of course this one doesn't stay does it there it goes all right let's heat this guy Flow here, there we go. Come on, get in here. There we go. All right, so that is sweated. So we just gotta let it cool down now and uh, be good to go. What are you doing? Hi. Oh, hi. Crazy lady with the camera. Why? 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 I don't know. Don't you worry. Got it. Ah, we're gonna we're gonna mud and tape it. Yes, you did a better job than me. Just work. Mm -hmm. That was all the attitude right there. That's what that was. Ah, that, see, ah, stop. You hear how it free spun at the end? 
It didn't hit anything. When you put it in, let me see another screw. Why is it? Give me another screw. Okay. It, because drywall is half inch thick. Okay, so you're going all the way on the outside right here, but I want you to angle it that way towards wood. Okay, see how that one hit wood? Does that make sense? Sure. The drywall is this thick and this thick, and the wood is inside of it. So to hit the outside hole and angle it slightly in, okay. not like 45 degrees, because then you got to drive it a lot farther. That's what she said. Which one do you want? Right, here. right there. Perfect. She can be taught. That was loud in my ear. Here, watch. Hold on. Look, can I show you something? See how it's sticking? It's because it's got a magnet. Uh -huh. Watch this. Watch. I'll keep my hand. I'll keep my hand at the height of your hand. Okay? Watch this. You Luke? don't know the height of my hand. Okay, look. You're also taller look. than me. You already have an look. advantage. Look, look, look. See that? Watch this. Look how low my hands are right now. My hands are way down here. But you're already tall. Way tired. down here. You're already tall. But it doesn't matter how tall my head is, my hands are way down here. Right? Do it again. How's your head keep getting in the way when the tape goes back? Try it again. Let me see you do it. This is the longest measurement ever. In time, not distance. I can't live my life. That's pretty good right there. All right, now, well, there you go. Feed it on up. I won't bend anymore. Push. Push with your right hand. There you go. 42, I was right the first time. Okay, 42. Okay, Nate's gonna make some mud, industrial style. With a cake batter mixer. You know how to do this, right? No. I mean, I've watched you guys do it, but I never pay attention. Yeah. You never pay attention. I Too do. damn broke to pay anything else. You ought to at least pay attention. That's not true. You're fine. Hey, can I put her on on these outsides right here, Nate, or do you want to do those? Mm -hmm. All right, come here. You do you, boo boo. That right there is your guide. Okay? This wall over here is your guide. All right? Mm -hmm. So, what you're going to do. All right, because you're going to fill this. Kind of like grout. Okay, and you don't want it all falling on the floor. See how I'm catching it? Grout. See how I'm catching it? Okay, are you paying attention to how I'm catching it before it falls on the floor? Yeah. Okay, you're going to get a lot catching. on the floor. I feel like you're going to get a lot on the floor. It's just it's like, it's like the grout. Right, it's catching. Yeah, it's going to catch it. Okay, well, I'm too short for that. You're gonna have I know, to I'm going to do the top here. <laughs> keep, keep, uh, see that right there? See that corner? That's your guide, okay? Flat against the corner and the wall, okay? Don't let this corner of this get inside that corner, okay? That corner's your guide. You got me? Yes. You just went inside. Now listen, hold on, watch this. Let me show you something. So we're gonna get a little bit more so it makes sense, okay, right? So we, we put it on there like that, okay? And now when we wanna flatten it out, we go on the wall and on the corner, okay? And then catch it, okay? Wall in the corner, okay? You got me there? See up here where you went kinda, see, see you went inside. See how now we're wall and corner? Okay, try that. Yep, and then uh -uh. Keep, see how you almost slipped inside? This right here has to stay on that right there, just like that. If it goes in there, it messes up. Got to stay on there. You with me? Yes. Nice. That looks like a Tennessee gravel road right there. Well, All bumpy, messed, bumpy. You messed up the tape right there. That's not my fault. Oh, good for you casting some blame around. Well, that's what you did, so see, look at that, you messed it up. Okay, that's fine. Good job, kid.
Okay, so they've got the drywall trimming in. Obviously, it still has to be mudded and textured. Um, so once that's done this week, and that has to be patched. Once this is finished, and they still have to put the shower head, but all of the nozzles and plumbing down here is completed, then I'll be able to come in here and paint this room. It's so close to being done. So, so very close. But we demoed this wall out last weekend. This weekend, we've gotten this part done, so it's ready to be painted. I'll walk through here. This still needs to be textured, but they did mud it and tape it. Well, he'd already taped it, but it hadn't been mudded. Um, so he still has to do, looks like he did that side and that side still needs to be finished. And then that's it. So I will be painting that this week. Um, I'll be painting this area, the ceiling, the touch-ups on this side, and the bathroom. I swear I feel like this is never gonna be done. I know it will be. We've set, we like, this time, when we've done projects before, it's always been like, okay, we're gonna wait till we have this or that, or then something else comes up. This time we're just like, we have to get it done. This has to be finished. We've kind of done a self-imposed deadline to get it all done. So it's really kind of kicked us into gear. And I'll show you guys too real quick. I, um, I like reorganized, so much quieter over here. He's got the air conditioner going on that side. I reorganized my closet here and really cleaned it out. Um, got rid of a bunch of stuff. One of the hazards, I think, of basically being the same size as I was in sixth grade, I ha I tend to just keep my clothes because they still fit. So I kind of just have collected clothes for probably the last 25 years and not really purged any of them. So I have gotten rid of boxes and boxes and boxes of clothes and shoes that I've had for decades. Um, some of which, a lot of which since I was a kid <laughs> and I finally just kind of got rid of some of them that I'm like, why am I keeping this? Some of them Frankie took because now they fit her, which is super weird. For those of you that have girls or kids that are your size, um that's weird so most of my stuff now fits her so she kind of she took some of my old jeans that i was going to get rid of and some of my shorts and some of my shirts and stuff that i was going to get rid of that i'd had for ages super weird to see her walking around being able to wear my clothes I'm not sure how i feel about it it is what it is but i'm super happy with the way my closet turned out it's nice and clean in here now um everything's organized and decluttered and my bags my bags are ready to go for shoot dang fest in like two more weeks um they're not packed they're just they're out here and ready to be packed so we're good i'm not taking all that by the way that's a lot of luggage i'm not taking all that luggage this is like three suitcases inside of here <laughs> but these two little rolling carts that are right here uh because frankie's coming with me so one is hers and one is mine so We'll see, but I'm excited, dude. I got a lot done. Still got more to do. Got a lot of painting to do. That has to get done by next weekend. Oh, not stressed at all. What are you doing? Are you having fun in the potting room? This is not fun. Where are you making all. all the edges even? Um, well, so okay. now we have to come back and fix all the drywall all the way around this and then mud it and then put up trim. And no, not having fun. That's cool. Nate, you having fun? <laughs> we get to do trim? <laughs> <laughs> that part will be fun. <laughs> Lord, you too. And I just finished casing out the uh, slider. Well, there you go. It's beer 30. We've got a lot done today. There's still a lot more to do and a lot of painting that I'll have to finish while that, uh, once that drywall is finished, mudded and all of that and sand it down a tad, knock some of those peaks off. And then it'll be my turn to get everything all painted. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you get the notifications. You're still wet. Don't get on the bed. Oh, Lundy. Wet dog. On the bed. Gotta love it.